This seems like a good way to start this episode. Seems like staring at this, looking at the 300 foils down in the corner, and looking at this, hey, guess what? You can't even buy this as a singleton. So the good cards, I don't want to buy it. I hit the wrong button. Nope. Back the fuck up. That's what I'm saying to that. That seems like a good place to start. So is the $35 version of this game worth it? That's the question. Now that the pre-orders are done, you can no longer get two free premium booster packs with your purchase of the $35 version. So basically what you'll be doing is, I mean, I don't want to cut right into it. I really don't. But basically what you'll be doing is you'll be taking all the playability out of this game. Um, I mean, just looking on here, all the cards that are really good are, are premium boosters. Like, the ones that you're excited to play with are premium boosters, which is obviously how things are going to happen when... I don't even know what I'm looking for. I'm looking for shop. When you move to this model, but... The premium boosters, of course, I mean, it's, it's not really showing me the price here, but they're like $299 or $199. Can I see it without... The foil keys, which is a joke, is so much money. I don't understand. So bottom line, the $35 option is going to give you 300 foil keys, which they say is a value of like $7, which is a joke. Um, what happens? Okay, they're $1.99 a piece for the premium booster packs. And the $35 collection opens all of these, which are $5 a piece, and they give you all the cards so they don't just give you one copy of the cards they give you all the cards from that specific section now i wanted to buy this 35 dollars one so that i could talk to you guys about it and try and give you a heads up and let you know if it was worth it or not uh i guess the quickest way to kind of talk about whether or not it was worth it was to say that that is a big regret i have um i don't want to just bash this but it, it's really hard to look at this positively a lot of the game is playing through the story and unlocking cards, which is going to be slow. You know what I mean? It's, it's not going to be super quick and it's going to take some time for you to do that. But that's what the game is. That's the fun of the game from the single player campaign perspective. Because now all I'm doing right now is just trophy hunting and, you know, and now I'm trying to look and make sure. Yeah, so we do we get guild gates, but do we not get good lands? Man, I'll tell you what, that's something else. That is something else. Wow. So we get guild gates. That's what we get. I don't even, oh, I gotta take a second. This is just. So basically, this game is is asking you for a dollar 99 for a chance a rather small percentage chance of opening the rares especially obviously because i assume the same rules apply uh but of opening the cards like this like you're not getting you're not getting mold shambler unless you buy a dollar 99 pack and if you buy the 35 version, you don't even unlock all those cards, obviously, because that's the hook that they've got in there for the microtransactions. You've just got the all of, and if it was just one of, I guess some people say that's a ripoff, but at least you'd kind of have a reason to play through the main campaign. The single player now it doesn't hold a whole lot of value because you're not unlocking more cards. You have all the cards already, so you got to ask yourself, what's really the reason to play through the single player campaign you know it's not like it's going to really reward me after i spent the 35 dollars on this game uh so the bottom line the thing that i want to get across and i don't want this video to just be about bashing you know the cards because there are really good cards in this game if you're a newcomer to magic it, the good thing about this pay model the only good thing about this pay model that i would say is that it is wholly modular so from my perspective my point of view i would say that i feel personally that purchasing this was a mistake. If I was just a consumer and I wasn't, so I guess I don't have all, cause I don't have all the coral barriers, right? Cause can't I have four of these? So I guess I just have one, so am I lying? Cause you can only have one of these. So I don't have all of these. So I guess there are a couple cards. No, cause these have to be the premium boosters, right? 
That's what they have to be. Yeah, that's what they are. They're premium boosters. That's exactly what these are. I've got the max of Graveborn, so I guess I can have two Graveborn Muses. For me personally, there are a lot of good cards in this. If you're new to Magic, the good thing about this experience is that it's it's pretty fairly modular. You know, you can buy in for the $9.99, and you can get a pretty good taste of the experience, and you have a really fun, really well put together single player campaign. I have to admit, it's gor I mean, it's gorgeous. The game's gorgeous. Everything about this is gorgeous. The $9.99. That's nice. The thing that I'm a little jealous about is that the iPad version obviously has a little bit more of that free freemium content because you can just get it for free and play it that way. But you get a really good single player campaign for the $9.99 and you can modulate that with the uh, first expansion thing, um, which will also unlock the multiplayer. So you can go that route, and I think that's a really good route for beginners, and I actually think that's a really good route for kind of everybody who's looking at buying this game, is to buy the $9.99 version, and then look at what you want to do as far as the other purchases are concerned. I will say, though, that if you are one of those people, and this is just, there are people out there that are like this, and I completely understand that you don't want to do the grinding, you don't want to do all that. I understand, they're, that's why they always have the $0.99 cent deck unlocks. The only thing is that this is quite a bit more expensive. That's the problem. They've taken a pay model from the previous versions with the 99 cent deck unlocks and the 99 cent foils, and they have ramped that up a considerable amount as far as price is concerned. But if you go through and you add all these up, okay, and you add all these up and you're gonna get all five of these anyway, and you're gonna get the base game, then it doesn't make any sense not to buy the premium pack because you're also gonna get an ebook, which in all fairness, the uh, book stopped being good in the mid to mid to early 2000s, uh, mid to late 2000s is when all those books turned to pretty much utter shit. Um, but you will get a book. I think you get the soundtrack and you get some backgrounds because Google image search doesn't exist. So there is other stuff to consider. They did try and put other stuff into this. They, like, they did try and put other stuff into this. But, and it's not totally unlike Real Magic, except I can buy singletons in Real Magic. Um, I can buy singletons and magic online, but I will say that this is a step in the right direction And the way to do this is if you have a tablet get the free version before you do anything else uh, Get the free version play through that and see if you like it And if you do then maybe graduate to the 999 on there or the 999 on here um, There will be this is specifically for people who want this game I'll have an app review for the actual iPad or version of this game later on tomorrow uh, that everybody can watch and enjoy on my other channel um but for right now this is for people who already want this game and know they want this game um what you're gonna want to buy is the premium booster so if you take that extra 25 dollars or extra 20 dollars or whatever and just put it towards 10 premium boosters you're gonna be a lot happier with your purchase than purchasing these card collections which are the uncom or like the commons basically I mean, there are some rares in there, obviously. It's not fully saying that, but some of them are behind a paywall. I mean, that was the first thing we saw when we started this video, is how you're gonna feel when you start playing this game, and that's, you go to Wall of Omens, and it is a paywall. It's a very strong, stringent paywall. And you don't really feel like you're getting as much out of it as you do with some other games to be honest with you and some other magic experiences um so I, I feel like this is probably not the route to go but if you're going to get it anyway and, and like i said there are other people out there uh that want that experience that want to do they even have wrath of god no they don't have wrath of god i guess well I'm, uh, i don't think so then by all means it's a good buy it's to, you know just monetarily speaking if you add everything up it's a good buy but I'd say if you're just a casual consumer and you want to play some Magic the Gathering, I don't even know, I'm just hitting buttons now, just trying to cheer myself up. If you're just a casual consumer and you want to play some Magic the Gathering, I would strongly advise you to just get the 9.99 and test the waters. I think there'll be a very strong community. I hope, I would, really would hope that the multiplayer is not completely dominated, or at the very least, you would hope that they would have a little bit better way to do things. We got a lot of people out there already on this game, which is good. Um, 
you know, that's all I wanted to say is give you guys a little talk. And, and what I wanted this to be was just explaining the content to you guys more. It stopped being that and it started being just a warning. Um, but like I said, it really depends on what you want out of the experience. So don't really listen to how impassioned I was at the opening of this. If you want all the cards and you don't want to wait, then the $35 experience is going to get you a little bit of extras and it's going to save you a little bit of money. You're going to get the 300 foils, which I personally don't think are worth anything. I probably won't use mine. Um, I guess I, I have to because I own them, right? Uh, but just to my mind, I would say to save that money and maybe spend it on the premium boosters because there is a lot of fun to be had to pop booster packs. And buying this... Buying this $35 thing is going to take the fun of opening booster packs out of the main game. So there you go, you guys. That's kind of my little mini opinion, review, rant on what this game looks like with the microtransactions and everything. I hope it helped you out. Sound off in the comments. I know a lot of people are already talking about it all over the internet about how this goes and... It's a step in the right direction because it's a step towards replacing Magic uh, Online. Magic Online is the ugliest effing thing I've ever seen in my entire life. It is abhorrent. It is the worst UI. It's horrible. It is not good. <laughs> so this is a step in the right direction to getting rid of that flaming pile of trash and just kind of having this be the online Magic experience. So it's getting there, uh, but I need to be able to buy singles. I need to be able to sell my extras. I need to be able to trade. If you're going to sell me booster packs for a shit ton of money and then tell me that I can buy full sets for a shit ton of money, then you need to give me some options. That's the only thing that I would say uh, from a personal standpoint and a personal opinion. For right now, I just want to thank you guys for watching this video. If you agree with me or you like what you saw at all, be sure to check out some of my other videos. And if you like those where I'm a little bit more chipper, be sure to subscribe because the subscribers really help us out and there is nothing but fun magic content on this channel. Tech Daily Duels means you get a duel every day. Uh, and I always try and stand by that. I think I've missed like three or four, 680 videos on this site um, or on this channel. So lots of backlog in case I miss a day here or there. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I hope it helped you out. Maybe it helps you not make what could be a mistake purchase. And that's really what I want this video to do is just kind of enlighten everybody and let them know what they're buying and what you are buying one more time to try and get back to the purpose of this because I was pretty upset when I started. What you are buying is all these different cards. So when you go and you write bumper through, I guess when you, what, how, do you how the hell do I sort by all? Okay. Oh, you can even just look at the premium and see what you don't have. That's a real cute game. That's real cute. There's not even a ton of premium cards that are good. Um, like what would I want? I, I just I just want eight think twice and that's it. Skull cracks pretty actually, you know, there are a couple of these that aren't terrible. Skull cracks. A great born music good all day. Um do, do is there a way to do that? I don't know. It's gonna be interesting getting into the meta. It's gonna be interesting. It's gonna be a lot of fun. This is gonna be a fun game no matter what. So, you know, check it out. Let's have a good time. Let's try and get past this, this stuff and let's let them know what we want because it's not, we just have to have the right messaging when we as a community complain about this to Wizards of the Coast. It's not that we don't want the booster packs because I don't think, I think I speak when, for everyone when we want a real Magic the Gathering experience online. That's what this is, you guys. This is real Magic, except for the caveat that you are cut off at the kneecaps. You are hobbled. You're not able to sell back cards. You're not able to trade. You're not, so it's not real magic. And that's the thing. Like they don't want to cut into their uh, magic online market share. And I understand that, but fuck them. I mean, that's not my problem. If you're going to make a game where you're having me buy full sets for no reason for $5 at a huge goddamn markup uh, at little to no cost to wizards to actually produce you know, it's in the grand scope sco uh, scope of the game and in playtesting and everything. That's where the cost comes in. And of course, you have to look at that. But I'll buy this stuff all day. But don't take away the meaning of the single player campaign. And then don't hobble me and not allow me to do things that people do with a trading card game. A trading card game. Let me trade, let me sell, let me do my shit. 
That's what I want. And that's what we need to say to Wizards of the Coast. We can't just be like, oh, we didn't want, because we did want this, you guys. We've been asking for this since the first game. Well, you know, at the very first game, we were asking to not be able to play sorceries at instant speed at people's end steps. But since then, since they've polished it up so well, we have been asking for this. This is what we wanted. Don't be so upset by the weird nature of it that you lose sight of the fact that this is the game experience that we wanted when we signed up for this thing. We just want the real experience. We don't want some half done bullshit where the only half that's been done is the half that gets them the most money. Um, so just be sure to be, when you vocalize this, and I'm sure you will vocalize this to wizards, you'll vocalize this around the internet, just be sure that you're angry about the right things and that you're asking for the right things because this is actually, this can work. We can get there together. 2016 or whatever can start with, they could even, like, they could even update this, which I would not hold my breath ever for them to do that, but they can fix this. And so let's give them a chance, but... Let's not buy in at $35. Let's buy in at 10 and let's not put up with all their bullshit. Oh, thanks a lot, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it helped you out. I'm gonna get off my soapbox, put up my vestments, cause I was preaching. And uh, shit, I'm gonna let you go so I can play some more magic. Check out the channel and I'll see you all next time.